No team in the state of Nebraska heading into the 2024 football season may return more talent than Millard South, led by head coach Ty Wisdom. The Patriots have high hopes here for 2024. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, obviously um, we had a very young team, um, but, you know, a team that kept getting better throughout the year uh, and uh, just didn't finish at the end. Um, and at the end of the day, that's on me. I got to do a better job coaching, got to get our guys ready and, um, you know, credit to Elk South that night. Um, but, uh, you know, like like Adam said earlier, it's kind of created a, a little bit of a hunger this off season. Um, so, you know, it's one of those that I think maybe we can look back on and say, hey, that, that, that actually helped propel us. Not that we wanted that to happen, but, uh, um, you know, I, I think that's one of those things that's really created the hunger this off season for us. And they'll immediately be tested out of the gates as Millard South will travel to the Phoenix area to take on Vasha, a top five program in the state of Arizona. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I started thinking about it, you know, even last year, I started thinking about, you know, just giving these kids an opportunity, an experience that they'll remember for the rest of their lives, because um, that's really what high school football is all about. Uh, and so, you know, when it when it started transpiring, um, you know, what, what a great experience. Uh, obviously, we're going to get tested. I mean, they're a phenomenal football team. So, um, but but like I said, I, I think it'll be a great experience for our kids. Do you guys fly like one plane over there then, or how? how yeah, right? yep. We'll we'll jump on a Southwest Airlines at eight, eight a.m. on Thursday. Get in there and we'll practice there Thursday, and um, and then shoot. NSA was real nice to us. They they scheduled Millard West on Thursday the next week, so it works out real well for us. <laughs> a little short week. You're welcome. Here's the Arizona game. Now play Millard West on Thursday. The Patriots also had one of the bigger offseason storylines as tight end Chase Lofton, right now the number one ranked player in Nebraska for 2024, according to On3, transferred from Elkhorn North to Millard South. Chase is just, a, he, I mean, all I've seen is he's a great teammate, a great kid. He's a yes, yes or no, sir, eye contact kid. Obviously, you could see, I mean, if you looked at our group, they, he fits in with them. Um, you know, they're all cl- close-knit group and, you know, he's obviously he's brought up a lot, like he brought a lot of attention to to our 26s, right? Him just being there, and so, but he, he you know, he's he's a hard worker. He wants to get better. He takes the coaching, and um, obviously, we're we're blessed to have him at South. He'll have maybe the top quarterback returning in the state as well, throwing the football. Jet Tamala measured in at six foot four at the in-state tour event. You know, he he was under Cam Kozel. You can't be under a better leader ever, anywhere. So Cam helped him a lot just in that point. Um, and that's where Jet's really growing um, as far as just being in the quarterback, being the leader. Um, and uh, so that's, I mean, because the talent, the talent is there. Um, you know, obviously um, he's got a tremendous arm. Uh, I didn't run him because I didn't want to, um, but he, he will be able to do that too. But, um, you know, he's going to leave Millard South at probably 215 pounds. I mean, people forget the kid just turned 16. Um, so super excited about obviously his potential and just seeing him grow as a leader. And then you've got a pair of wide receiver tight end options led by Isaac Jensen, who picked up a Nebraska offer in the class of 2026 as a tight end. Iowa state was first. And then uh, coach rule was in the next day and he's like, you like this kid? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, I'm going to offer him. Um, so yeah, I mean, Isaac's got huge potential, right? Six foot six. Um, he's had a great basketball season. He's fun to watch on the basketball floor too. Um, but you know, just, weight room is going to be big for him and um, you know I look forward to you know with him and Chase uh, together just pushing each other and um, I always tell him you know if you can put your hand in the ground and block you'll make money playing this game so um, that'll be a big thing for for both those guys this next year. And then lastly they obviously have one of the top receivers returning in Nebraska and Amarian Jackson another 2026 prospect he currently has two power five offers already and I would expect Nebraska's offer to come in very soon. I mean he's Amarion is our team leader, um, so when they come in, they just see him moving. I'm like, I don't know what else you want to see. <laughs> you know, he led the state in receiving as a sophomore. He's already broke our career touchdowns and receptions record. Still two years left. But the thing about Amarion is he has it all. Like he's a he's a 4-0 student. Um, he just he does he has all the intangibles that wherever he goes, he's going to make it and be a leader. Um, the other part of it is is he's going to play safety for us this year too. So you know he's 6'2", long. Um, and and uh, he's just going to get faster. He's still 15, doesn't turn 16 till the first week in May. 
Um, so he, he just, he has the it factor. It's, it's just a matter of time. It's fine. And he knows that he doesn't get caught up in that. And a couple of other prospects to keep tabs on here uh, moving forward here. Dylan Cool, a safety hybrid type athlete, is another key name to watch, receiving a lot of FCS attention. Oh, Dylan, Dylan is our, you know, our, our leader on defense, energy guy. Uh, just, I mean, he's all around the ball. He's just a, he's a playmaker, like, you know, led the state in interceptions. He's just always around the ball. When he touched the ball on offense, he made stuff happen. So, uh, you know, he, I look for him to have a, a, a huge senior year for us and, and, and be that, you know, emotional leader on the field. You know, it was fun. It was my first year playing, coming off an injury. I had uh, surgery last year, so it was my first year playing, like, starting the whole season. And it was fun going out there and uh, playing with the seniors we had. I'm um, very good at coverage, good at blitzing, good at reading the quarterback. And then finally, defensive lineman Adam Pugh is another top name receiving some FCS attention here for the Patriots. Yeah, I mean, Oakland South, it was for sure, you know, a loss that we would have really liked to turn into a win, but... I feel like that really created hunger for our upcoming guys. I mean, we've been grinding our grinding our butts off during the off season. I believe that 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 fire under our under our bellies will really help us propel us into the next season for sure. Adam Adam leads by example, kind of like J.R. Laquana did last year. He doesn't talk a lot, but Adam just works his tail off. This will be his third year starting for our D line. So, um, you know, super lucky to have those guys leading us. And the great thing about all these guys is they're great students, too. Like, I have zero discipline issues with these guys. Our varsity GPA is a 3.4. So just, just, I mean, you know, you can talk about how good football players they are, but they're fun to be around. Like I told them, I go, I wouldn't want to go to Arizona with you clowns if you weren't fun to be around. So it's a good group. Reporting here at the In-State Tour for HuskerOnline.com, I'm Sean Callahan.